Okay, so I couldn't find any good resources on this, so I thought I would make a little something myself. These are the Sennheiser uh, RI 150 Mono Infrared Hearing Assist Receivers. This would be the front and the back. Battery goes in here. Both of these devices only have one working earpiece. The left one is the only one that works on both of them. So I am going to try to make that into one working one. The first one I took apart, these were not connected to anything. This slid right off. And then I opened this up to see what was inside and there was nothing. Either it dropped onto the floor before my very eyes or there was nothing in here in the first place which would explain why the right ear was not working. These came right out. So let's see what's going on with this one. Oh, the left one was working, so I would like to keep it that way. Uh, by the way, these guys come apart from their back plate with two screws here and here. The screws are this long, Phillips, and they were a little tough to unscrew. I used a little miniature screwdriver to pry in four places and it popped apart pretty easily. To get this earpiece open, I just sort of went with the old, uh, this method. And it actually popped right off and revealed <laughs> that many, that many years worth of inside earwax. I've been, I've been moving this around. It was not good under there. Uh, okay. So, which one? I think this one I might break apart a little bit more. Which means I want to keep this circuit board as intact as I can. These earpieces pop out. Now this... I can feel this wire is the disconnected one. So since I'm still not sure how they are connected over on the right, ah, oh, that camera battery is dead. Yeah, God. This is why we can't have nice things. I am going to change the battery in the camera and probably come back with a slightly different frame because of course, the battery door is blocked by this camera stand. Stand by. Be right back. Okay. I'm guessing this camera battery will also die. Which just sucks. Okay. I'm going to turn on the soldering iron. And let's see if we can't get... <coughs> Excuse me. This little guy off. So I'm going to make note that the red wire is closer to the volume knob and the gold wire is up top. So hopefully I will exchange that for the other one and we'll be good. Where's my pinchies? Oh, let's see if this will reheat without any new solder.
Clean tip. Okay. So, you know what? While we have this here, let's see if this one will open up as easily as the other one. I don't know if you can see this. So it's spreading apart there hey, when we do this. That, uh, mini strip yet? It's also cracking. I have not yet, no. But, okay. I mean, I it's not like it's going to get more broken. So, well, thanks for the, yeah. God. the other one popped open very easily. And like I said, didn't have anything inside, which makes me a little bit... <laughs> Here's what we're looking at on the internal. So, uh, it is just this empty shell. And the other wire, the other wire is just jammed in there. It wasn't attached to this anymore. So it is just a little speaker. Uh, but we have two of these that work. So, <laughs> yeah. Earwax. Okay, let's see if we can retrieve this working one without obviously one of the major flaws in these, I shouldn't say flaws, one of the challenges in these headsets is trying to keep the wires from breaking off on the speaker end. So let's try to not do that. I'm going to try to make my life easier. <sighs> Oh, don't break it. Let's see. All right. The problem is I'm worried that these are going to come off of the speaker. Well, like I said, it's not going to get more broken. No, oh, well, this one could. I am willing to take that chance. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right. Oh. Well, that wasn't in frame, but I did an excellent job. We will push that to the side. Now let's take our currently vacuum fun. I don't at the moment see a reason why the other earpiece won't work. Even though the the cable colors are different, which is crazy. Okay, where is this guy? Oh, I'm gonna, we want the gold one further away from the volume knob. Oh, these are, yeah. Yeah. Well, let's just 
pack it in here right quick. I'm really trying not to pull on these wires. Oh, shit. Sorry. Press. Suck. Okay. Okay. There we go. Let's see if we can't get this. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get back to you wisely and slow. Is there anyone who's not ready? Go ahead, please. I have seen prettier. And. Okay. I'm going to. Snap this. Why are you no snap? I wonder if that cutout is important. Ah. Okay. So that has gone back in. Now we hypothetically have these on this side. So that used to be a left earpiece just like this one. Okay, well. Good enough. Alright, let's pop the back plate on, but not screw it back in. And just here, if we have static in both ear holes. Okay. That's not the right part at all. She feels like she's not happy. Let's put a battery in her. Okay, stand by. Put them in the ear holes. Nothing. I'm hearing nothing. Oh, oh, ah, up. Oh. It's working. I have hiss in both ears. I just have to, I have to pinch the bed. This is, oh, this is awful video, but trust me. Okay, hold on. God. God. Okay. Okay. So, once I have the battery pinched correctly, both ears came alive. Okay. I just need to figure out how to get this snapped back together, which might just be a slightly liberal application of squeeze what? What? Uh, 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 just like it's out of the factory. Okay, so we got the numbers lined up in the right place. Okay, we're gonna put the screws back in. Tighten all the way just to make sure that the other one will start. There's only so many times that you put one screw all the way in before you realize you have to take it all the way back out to start the other screws. Okay, that one is tight. This one is tight. It will be. It's not. 
Oh, I feel like I'm gonna stab myself with this screwdriver. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That grunt is the correct amount of torque. Battery in. Into the ear holes. Oh, <laughs> man. This is going to make someone's life extremely, well, louder. Don't make the room louder. Okay, so, quick recap. We took two Sennheiser yeah. R150 mono infrared ear hole receivers, each of which only had one working earpiece, and we salvaged that. We salvaged the working earpiece from one, put it into the other side. It's just a very quick solder job. And two screws and a little bit of prying. Uh, and we have a working one made out of that. Now that's important because these are discontinued. I can no longer get them. There are replacements, but, uh, you know, uh, why, why, not make, why not make something? Uh, so it looks like, in case anyone is curious, the inside of these, this is the side that you will see when you open it up. The earpieces solder on to these liberally applied dabs of solder. A couple of chips in there. Don't know what they are. Apologies. Uh, there's the volume knob. It looks like if you're having a case of loosey-goosey volume knob, incompatible screwdriver, stand by. This on here is really wiggly. Let me see if this actually helps. Yeah. So this could be another repair that you could make real quick and non-destructively. Uh, assuming that these don't rip out while you are taking this circuit board apart. I would say if you're taking these apart, the most important thing is to be very ginger with not this end, but yanking them through these hollow earpiece tubes. Because they come unsoldered from these guys very easily. I don't know that they're actually becoming unsoldered. I think if you look at the ends of these cables, I think they're probably breaking off. Looks like these still have a little bit of tin on them, so. Uh, there's the two infrared receivers. And uh, that's it. This is a pretty basic little setup. There's the two battery terminals here. Those shouldn't be giving you much trouble. The other main problem we're having with ours is that the batteries are just not holding a charge like they used to. So I don't know if I can get replacements for those looking into it, but it turns out you can salvage working earpieces and put them back into single working units. Hope that helped.